Hi Divine Femmes, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> I'm Yasha Nay and I wanted to make another brief video um, on thoughts. Um, if you're not familiar with the term thoughts, thoughts in millennials, according to millennials, thoughts mean that hoe over there. <laughs> so I just wanted to um, share with you guys some information that I hold close to me when it comes to terms with um, females who pretty much lack morals. Um, this isn't to judge, by the way. I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to criticize anyone. Like, what you do in your life is your life. It's none of my business. It's not your neighbor's business is not even your mother's business. What you do in this life is strictly between you and source. And I just wanted to have this video made because it's it's really hard for women of all calibers, you know, to be women and to get things through hard work and pretty much to just get like respect. And personally for me, okay, for example, I'm a fashion designer. I am an artist. And right now the fashion industry is just so oversaturated with new designers, with models, with this, with that. And we're also, as a designer, I have to compete with females who gain likings gain likes and, and gain, um, you know, recognition based off of their lifestyle, a lifestyle that I personally would never choose for myself, a lifestyle that I would never want any of my siblings or any of the people that I love in general in life to have. Um, once again, I'm not judging, but at the same time, those females <laughs> that choose to live that type of lifestyle we tend to be in competition with them as far as like not only work, but like, you know, networking and finding a husband. It's very difficult for women such as us, divine um, goddesses, to find potentials, potential husbands, potential boyfriends, potential work period because we have to compete with females who just don't have morals so I want to just share with all of my perfect divine feminines today that never stop being yourself I can't stress that enough never stop being yourself never bash yourself for not getting the promotion that you thought was yours and you didn't get it, get it and don't ever bash yourself for not being at a particular point in life like your friend or like a girl you knew in college or whomever stop bashing yourself because what people fail to know about life itself is that we have time there's always time to correct there's always time for success God isn't going to let you leave this planet without getting a little bit of that piece of your desires. You know what I mean? Like, God isn't going to just take your, well, God, to me, I don't feel like God takes your life. I feel like your spirit chose your entire life path, okay? Everything has been done in the stars already. So one way or another, you're going to get a piece of that pie before you leave this plane. And you just can't worry about when it's gonna happen. That prolongs it actually. Stressing, worrying, the more you stress and worry, that's a negative, those are ne that's a negative way of thinking. And negative ways of thinking does not attract the success you're looking for. So comparing yourself to Instagram, social media famous models, you know, isn't going to make your life any better. You can't look at those females. You can't take their templates and make them templates of your own. Everyone has a beat to their own drum. Everybody is born different, shape different, look different, think different. Everybody is different. So 
one way, if that female took this route, that does not mean that you have to take that route. And you better believe that that route, that that female, I don't care what anyone says, the route that you take when you move like slime, when you fuck men to get to where you want to be in life, when you play a friend and you're, you know, you're playing people and manipulating people to, to get what you want, that's selfish. That is work sincerely from the devil himself. You are not worshiping God when you do things like this. And that's, that's the opposite of a virtuous woman. Virtuous women, of course, are the women that God praises, that God favors and blesses. Um, I believe it's Psalm um, 31, 33. Don't come for me if I'm wrong. But <laughs> we are virtuous women. Divine feminine were put here. We're virtuous women. We're nurturing. We're giving. We're selfless. And we make shit happen the way that things are, the, the godly way. I mean, we have to think about also what females that engage in immoral acts, you have to think about what they go through. I'm not knocking them at the end of the day. They have a strength that I would never, probably never, oh, actually never ever experience. Like stripping, for example. Stripping is an art. I'm not playing stripping. However, I'm not shaking my ass for no man. If I'm going to get respect, it's going to be because I'm business savvy, because I'm wise beyond my years, because I'm intelligent, because I'm powerful, and because I'm me. And that's divine, okay? And you're divine too. And the females that feel like they have to go out and strip, that's not necessarily saying that they aren't divine feminines. There are a lot of lost divine feminines out there who are continuously running into bullshit because they're resisting the path that God wants for them to, you know, go along. Instead of like being patient like we are to get our success, to have our families, to be amazing in this world, instead of you know being patient and taking the path and learning um, and consistently downloading knowledge every day, they're out here furthering themselves away from the path and leading into destruction and selling their bodies and showing off their bodies for, for men that are never gonna be close to being their husbands. They're out here, you know, <sighs> Letting men pay for them and and buy them things and help them start businesses and you know what I'm saying and 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 for what? Can you imagine how much energy is lost from females that are not virtuous? You know what I'm saying? Like all of the energy that they have to deal with in a damn day, you know, just based off the fact that they don't have peace in their hearts. Let's be honest, if you have peace in your heart, you won't worry about being alone. You won't worry about what people have to say or think about you. You won't want to like go out and strip for money or set, like show off your body on social media. It is, it troubles me when I see gorgeous women you know, going the extra mile and just legit showing off their bodies. And that's not saying that you can't wear body con things. That's not saying that you can't go out to the club and show a little midriff. I'm showing y'all shoulders and, and a little cleavage right now. But you have to be tasteful. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be out here damn near not wearing any type of clothes with stupid captions that don't even make sense just because you know you're gonna get likes. You don't have to go out here showing nipples. You don't have to go out here showing pussy prints. You just don't have to do things like that. And I really wish that females knew their power because if those females knew the power that they truly had, instead of using the power of their bodies to get to where they want to be, they could literally run the world. You know what I mean? Like they could literally literally run the world. So I never really worry about 
being in competition at this point with females like that. And you shouldn't either. This is what this message is about. Um, I never worry about it because honestly, like when you stop focusing on things that don't concern you, when you just focus on your own path, when you focus on your own being and you know that you're the shit, you don't have to look for validation from anyone, okay? Even if people weren't watching my videos, I mean, I would be a little kind of blown. But at the end of the day, I feel like my purpose for having this whole channel is sincerely to guide the divine feminine out there that are just beginning their spiritual journeys, who are just starting to realize their power. And that's all that I want to do. That's all that I want to do. You know what I mean? I feel like every woman has that inside of her. And the Jezebel spirit is just such a dangerous, Jezebel is so powerful. And she's in all, she's in majority of the females. And the things that bother me the most is that now this Jezebel spirit is trying to move on to like the next generation of females. You have 14 year old girls out here looking like fucking Kim Kardashian. Like, do you guys want to see pictures of me when I was 14? I don't want you to. Yeah, I tried to get away with wearing makeup, but my makeup and my contour, my contour still isn't on point, okay? So the fact that you have younger females thinking that they have to look a certain way or dress a certain way, dress provocative just to get attention, just to get likes, that's ridiculous. You're doing nothing but heading into self-destruction when you do these things. Things build up, okay? It might look like people and these women are living lavish lives, and I'm not bullshitting. They maybe they do live lavish lives. They have yacht parties, and they go to, like, I don't know, Italy with a guy that they've been seeing for, like, a couple of months that's loaded with cash. And that's fun. Enjoy your life, but just be careful how you move. Okay, a woman should never have to manipulate a man to get what she wants. If you know what you want, you don't need anyone to get there but God. Okay, that is the only male energy they should be trying to get things done from. I'm not saying that they don't pray, but actions speak louder than words. Okay, and eventually when things start to dry up and years start to pass and you realize, damn, I'm really not with, I don't feel love still. I'm still looking for love. I'm still looking for validation. That validation only grows if it's not solved. If the problem, if the root of the issues for you going out to seek validation from everyone still isn't like filled, you're going to look for it more and more. And that validation seeking is going to push away more and more people because if you're not moving right, if you're just out here, you know, manipulating people and doing shaky ass business deals, if you're not changing, if you're not progressing, which I unfortunately feel a lot of these females are not, okay, because, you know, it's like they get their 15 seconds of fame and then it's on to the next, you know, female. But eventually, the issue is just going to grow larger and larger and larger until you realize one day that you're just not happy. You have nobody. And that's what a lot of these females, you know, have to go through. I'm going to use an example. I was working, I'm not going to say her name, I was working one year with a, um, a football wife. Um, I was designing for her a little bit because she wanted to start a brand. And she's super rich. She has a beautiful home. She has beautiful children with this man, but he's never home. And she got with him when she was super young. She had multiple kids from him, but she never sees him, okay? And she seemed happy, but she seemed happy in the sense that she was comforted by her material things. You know what I'm saying? Like she would get her Botox, you know, whenever she felt like it. 
to better to make herself feel good you know what i'm saying and she would tell me how she would manipulate i'm not going to go in on her or anything because i don't want to tell her a complete business but she would literally change her body for her husband because she was so afraid or she was already dealing with the fact that he wasn't being faithful to her you know what i mean and when i saw that i just knew like just because someone is married, just because someone has a big ass house and lots of money and drives nice cars and goes on lavish trips and their best friends are like in the music industry or whatever industry, it does not mean that they're happy. It does not mean that they feel complete. It does not mean shit. It means absolutely nothing. So that goes to show you that love, having a partner does not even like make you feel whole. So it's like, I feel truly sorry for females who feel like they have to show off their bodies, who feel like they have to throw themselves at men, who feel like they have to have sex with men and club and drink and engage in drug use, abuse drug use, just to get through their days. You know what I'm saying? It, it really bothers me because people keep things to themselves. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't mean that these females aren't good people. There are a lot of good females out there that I know that, you know, sometimes are a little extra, but it's not about who you are on the outside. It's truly about your inside. Okay. And I just want all of you DFs to know that it is hard to find a man at this point who are, who are, who's on our level. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to date anyone that's not on my level. I'm not even going to waste my breath texting a guy who can't even have a great conversation or doesn't even give a fuck about what I do for a living. He just wants to take me out to eat, 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 shop, 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 shop. Like, yeah, dude, but what else is in your cranium? You feel me? Like, we, I know you guys don't want to deal with bullshit anymore. I don't want to deal with bullshit. So we're just like, well, when am I going to find that perfect person? You know what I'm saying? And it's just all timing. Work on yourself, you know? If you want to dress up and take sexy pics, do it, but do it in a way that's still, like, mysterious, still tasteful, still you. Just be you, okay? Don't sell your soul. Don't work in an environment that's bringing down your vibrations. If there's somewhere that is bringing down your vibration, if something does not sit with you, then it's time for a change. And you have to be fearless with that change. You know what I mean? Like, I used to bartend, for example. Yeah, bartending money is off the chain, but it's it can be fun, but then also it could take me into a path where I might lose control of myself just based on like the environment, based on the people that I work with, based on the people that comes to the establishment, and also based on the fact that it's so much alcohol involved alcohol <laughs> like when i used to be little and like you would have old folks or you know church folks that'll be like oh alcohol's a devil no nah, they ain't fucking lying they might be a little dramatic they might be a little funny with it but it's called spirits for a reason okay it's called spirits for a reason because it's way easier for any spirit to jump in you or mislead you and guide you into a path of destruction when you are under the influence of alcohol and some drugs and drugs, I will say. I'm not gonna get into drugs right now though, or alcohol, but I just want you guys to know that, you know, it just wasn't, It it's not, you have to be careful of your surroundings. We all have to make money at the end of the day, but this, it has to be limits. You know what I'm saying? Like. It just has to be limits. When you have females out here that I'm gonna talk, I was talking about, okay. I was talking about as far as thoughts, like the Insta thoughts that just do anything for attention, but now I'm moving to on to another form of thought, okay? So we had the, we had the, um, the like attention thoughts. And then now we're gonna move into the just 
conniving thoughts. There's levels to this shit. So I would say that Instagram's thoughts, like, you know, Instagram models, because that's a whole separate thing too. That's one level. Okay, it's still kind of raunchy, but it's still like, oh, they can change. And then you just have the conniving thoughts. Um, these are legit um, women who steal men, who steal ho- husbands and break up homes. Um, women who seek so much power that they, you know, they just want to break things just to gain power. Now, these type of females, I don't worry about them either. Let me just say that. I don't worry about any type of female dark energy because they might not know it. And if they do, that karma is going to be worse. Your karma is going to come back to find you. It don't matter what time of the day it is, the week, the year, the century. The karma will come back. And when it comes back, especially when you know better, that's how you know, like, I never worry. You know what I'm saying? If you were in a relationship and you had to compromise your fucking energy because the guy you were with was seeing someone else on the side. That's his karma. That's her karma. Especially like if she knows. You know that they know. They will always know. As divine feminines, we're empaths and we we know. Okay? So if there's just like females that are just out here trying to slide in like your man's DMs, who are out here trying to plot it for your demise because you're at work and you do things better than them. It's always those type of conniving, scandalous women out there. But we don't worry about them, divine feminines, because karma comes back and it comes back tremendously. And I promise you, if anyone touches us or do anything wrong, we are less and highly favored and that karma you will sit every time it will feel bad you know what i mean saying like you'll still have the emotions but you just have to treat it with love you have to treat it being unbothered you just have to keep pushing so i never worry i never let a thought scare me out here never i never let a thought see me sweat i never let a thought even see the way that I move in life. And you wanna know what else is crazy? As an empath, I can literally decide if what type of person based on their energy around me through the phone and my face, it doesn't matter. Any interaction that I have, I can tell what kind of person they are. So if I meet, if I and I have, when I come across, um, women of this Jezebel spirit, they automatically usually don't even fuck with me. And you guys might have experienced it too. But you know how I deal with it? I, the nicer you are, the more cool, calm, and collected you are because you know your shit, it's going to piss that motherfucker off. And you know what she's going to do? She's going to break. But she's going to try not to let you see her break. She's going to break somewhere else. But she's never going to break in your face because we have power. Okay, we have power literally to move mountains. We have power. I personally, my my powers, I have the power to change energies in rooms. Okay. It's just, we're just too strong for that shit. If someone ever comes at you sideways, it doesn't take anything but a look for me and a sayonara to that ass. And I'm sure it's the same for you guys. So never worry about someone, you know, taking away your loved one from you. Never worry about a female taking a job from you. And if they do, guess what? Let them take it. Let them take the man that they're trying to take from you. You know why? Because if that if that boss was dumb enough not to give you that position, if they were dumb enough to get the conniving manipulator person that position, what does that say about your boss? And who's going to have to fucking deal with the bullshit? of that low vibrational creature they just promoted instead of you. Right. Less stress for you. Everything happens for a reason. And that's the that's the legit of it. As long as you are in your own lane, doing good for yourself, doing good for others, and here serving your divine purpose as much as you can, one step at a time, one hour, one minute, one second at a time, you are good, okay? 
if you're a female, if not your female, if a Jezebel female, you know, wants to take your man away, let her. Even if you know most females, they'll be like, oh, well, you must have not been doing what you need to do for him because, huh, he came home with me. Well, you know what, girl? Have him. Have them. Because you're going to have to deal with all his bullshit. I know, you know how much of a bullshitter that guy was. And if he's at that low that he would at least, like, do that shit, what does that say about him? I know what it does say. It says that you deserve better and you will find better. Because every time you go through a drastic change, every time someone decides to leave your life, you better believe that another good person, another great thing, another great opportunity coming into your hands. When God closes the door, it's for a reason. Let him close it. Let him close it. So I never let anyone see me sweat. No one. Ever. I just focus on myself. And ever since I've been focusing my, on myself without any distractions, I can't even begin to, to like let you guys know like how fucking amazing I feel. Like I feel like I'm on like cloud 10, okay? I feel limitless. And it's, and it's taken a long time for me to get here, but I'm glad that I'm here. And I'm really glad that I'm able to share all of this information that's coming in from my soul to yours. And I truly just want you guys to just, like my readings this morning, if you haven't watched it, I highly encourage you read the daily reading today. Even though it's daily also, side, side note, even though it's daily, it's still energies that persist throughout the week. You know what I'm saying? So the cards I pulled this morning, it's not like it's going to stop being energy, you know, for today. Everyone is different. Everyone's going to feel it at a different time. You know what I mean? The, the, the point of my readings are just to let you know that this is what you should focus on for the day so that you don't get sidetracked into this third dimensional plane, if that makes sense. It makes sense to me. So what else? Yeah, you just never worry about it never worry about females out here don't ever let anyone see you sweat ever and if you guys like ever need advice um with anything um you know if you're dealing with like a loss of your like how like if you've been cheated on or like someone is just out to do you dirty, always feel free to contact me. I give private sessions on Skype, private readings, advice, phone, we can chat, it's cool. Um, yeah, so just email me um, for that. And um, if you guys really love this video and you like this message um, that I just gave y'all, feel free to like, let me know if you want me to do a video on anything else. Um, I have so many things to tell you guys. So if it ever is like a day where there's like three videos, that's only because they've literally been sitting like in my mind for so long because I've been wanting to get out so much information to you guys. and I'm just letting it like gradually come to me. Like I was, I'm still going to do a video on like, um, how to keep your spirits up but i'll probably do that like later i'm not really sure <laughs> but anyway guys um yeah be hang in there be good and don't ever compare yourself to somebody else number one that's a sin anyway so don't do it don't worry be blessed be strong have compassion and if you haven't subscribed to me already please subscribe please like please share and all of my contact information my social media handles and all that cool stuff will be at the bottom so thanks guys so much for tuning in i love you be safe be blessed namaste